Hello everyone. Today, day 23. And uh, my days in Mombasa was getting to an end. But in early uh, 1963, February 1963, my dad asked me to go to India because I haven't been there for a long time. And, um, well, uh, I said, okay, I'll go. But he said, I have to go with this gramophone, which is a electric one, which is not a winding one. And uh, my dad said, you have to take this to my brother-in-law, my mother's brother. He lives in Ranchi Muri in Chota Muri in near Ranchi and I have to take it to him and he'll give me some money for my spending over there. Fair enough, I said, okay. It was uh, 1963, early 1963. So I sailed in the Amra and the uh, Personal officer, his name was Baskar, a good friend of mine. I went, uh, I took the third class, but he put me in second class. So that, that was a great thing about what he did for me. Anyway, sailed to Bombay, where uh, my cousin came to pick me up from the harbor and took me to Chambur in Bombay. And uh, there he had a, a flat, a room with about six or seven people in one room. And there was a, a chap who was doing uh, all the cooking for us because uh, he didn't pay any rent. He, he did the cooking for everyone. And uh, I, I had to sleep on the floor, of course. There was a toilet there and the uh, only luxury was the toilet was there and uh, the kitchen was just there only, uh, all the cooking, everything. The room was very tiny anyway. So I stayed there for two days and then I set off from uh, Bombay, Victoria uh, uh, Terminal to Calcutta. Uh, by train and after reaching Calcutta they were just building I think they're just building the Howrah Bridge I reached the station and uh, I stayed in that station itself just walked around it was very hot and uh, hotter than Mombasa of course and from there next day I took the a train to Patna, from Patna to Ranchi. Um, my uncle and uh, his uh, little son came along to pick me up from uh, Patna. From Patna we changed station and went to Ranchi and Ranchi, from Ranchi to Muri, another small train. Muri was a small place, there's only aluminum factory running there and uh, not, nothing else, but uh, everyone who worked in that aluminum factory had, uh, uh, was living around there and there was a swimming pool there. That's just about it. And uh, there's nothing uh, very interesting. And there was a cousin of mine who wanted to learn how to ride a bike. So every day I was teaching her how to ride a bike and she used to fall flat on somebody else's front guard uh, and that was just about it. Then um, his uncle had two daughters as well, the eldest one, she was very pretty and she sang very nicely. Uh, she used to sing like Leda Mangesh. She was only about maybe 14, 15, yeah about 14 years old. Uh, 
were both pretty girls anyway. My auntie wanted me to marry one of them, but uh, uh, I was not interested because they were my sisters. So my auntie, yeah, when she was in the toilet, she wrote down my name and my and one of the girls' name. And uh, it had salt in that water. So when it dries up, the name comes up. She was writing, uh, you know, when it was wet. And then when the water dries up, it, the name comes up. And I didn't see anything like that. But uh, when my uncle went in and he saw it, and he came out and he said, uh, my boy, if you want to marry my daughter, you have to get a job and a good salary and all that, mumbo jumbo. I was flabbergasted, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> anyway, he gave me the money, I gave him the gramophone, which was the electric one, and uh, I connected it for him and all that. And it played, he was happy, gave me some money, I don't know how much it was. And with that money I traveled to uh, Madras, it was called Madras at that time, Bombay and Mumbai, it's all changed now. So it came to Madras, uh, fr from Madras, another uncle of mine came to pick me up and uh, he had just lost his younger brother, who was a very nice person for me. I, 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 he was a bodybuilder as well, very nice person. And uh, I don't know how he died, but he had flu or something. He caught pneumonia and passed away. But uh, the, he was really mourning at that time. Even his son was there. And his, uh, his daughters, they were all mourning. They were very unhappy. But uh, that was the time I couldn't just stop there. And the, I think after a day, I took off again towards Kerala. I reached Kerala and stayed in uh, another cousin's house. From there I went to Trivandrum, I went to Aluwai, went to Trivandrum. When I went to Trivandrum, I went to see a friend of mine, very good friend, who was in Mombasa before. And uh, uh, it was a big bungalow and uh, from the station to the bungalows, only a short distance. So I took a auto, the human rickshaw, you know, the guy pulling me, and he was so embarrassed about it. He didn't know what to do. He said, that you could have taken a taxi, you could have walked from there to here. It was so close, and um, I said, okay, never mind. Next time I'll do that. Uh, on on the way in Alway, I stopped and uh, went to a friend's place. So them uh, was the Padri in uh, Mombasa, and I returned from there. Met uh, one of a few friends who were in Tanzania, Tanga, and uh, we had a merry time there in uh, in Trivandrum, and. Uh, uh, there was a girl who said, uh, she told uh, the uh, personal officer in Amra uh, not to go towards there. It's my, it's a forbidden island. <laughs> I got all this from her, she told them. Anyway, it all went on well. Uh, my return journey, I'll tell you tomorrow. God bless. Take care. Have a nice day. And uh, what else? Subscribe, I suppose. Okay, bye. Bye then.